My name is Michael Kane. I'm a professor in the psychology department. I'm a cognitive psychologist, uh, which means I do primarily laboratory-based research on human mental processes involved in intellectual capabilities like perceiving, attending, remembering, uh, comprehending, reasoning, and I'm especially interested in attention and memory and in individual differences in those capabilities and uh, what the consequences are when they succeed and we're able to stay focused on our tasks and our goals and when and why they sometimes fail. Our work has been of interest to granting agencies uh, in part because these kinds of attention memory capabilities that I've been interested in uh, often go awry in, in many kinds of clinical disorders, uh, from depression to schizophrenia. So we've been able to argue that we can help understand some of those problems, some of those uh, symptoms and difficulties that people experience by understanding at a basic level how the cognitive system works. The university and the department have always provided the resources that I've needed to get good work done uh, and to allow my graduate students and undergraduate students to get trained in, in this kind of research. The psychology department in which I, I work has uh, outstanding researchers and again a long history of people doing great work. So to be recognized by my departmental colleagues and then by the university at, at large is very rewarding. I think it's natural to fear that one's best ideas are, are behind you, but, um, but so far things seem to be going okay in that regard. My name is Paul Silvia and I'm in the Department of Psychology and I'm an associate professor there. I'm probably best known for my research on interest and curiosity and we do a lot of work on what makes things interesting, what makes things boring, uh, what kinds of people tend to find things interesting. And from that, it grew into a lot of research on the psychology of aesthetics, creativity, and the arts. So uh, what kinds of people are creative? What are creative people like? We do quite a bit on unusual states like getting goosebumps from music, or why music sometimes makes people feel like crying. Much of the fun of this kind of job is that you can study whatever you want. And the kinds of things that I, I do research on now are nothing like I did when I was interviewed here and hired here. We also do quite a lot of work on just what you might call the psychology of everyday life, where you study people as they walk around in their everyday world. So outside of the lab, like just what people's idiosyncratic everyday lives are like. And some of this we do with sort of biological methods, where we hook people up to freakishly expensive and really fun uh, cardiovascular monitors. So they spend the whole day wired up with electrodes, because nothing says science like electrodes, and they you can observe them physiologically and get sort of reports of what their days are like. Much of the time you do research is just you and a couple friends and some students week in and week out. It's nice to sort of step back and see that other people appreciate it.